STB emulator version 2.10.4 is a very good update. The best part is all the remote control keys pop up on screen whenever required to navigate or to keyboard to make an entry, to search and many other menu options. This update is just released and can be downloaded from Google Play Store, free or paid version. This can be installed directly on any Android device or side loaded in Fire Stick and other devices. When you keep pressed OK or enter button on the remote, the remote control options appear on the screen as shown in the slide. We have four options here, settings on the top, menu on the right side, Mac remote keys at the bottom and keyboard on the left. From the left main settings followed by the current profile which will open up for quick editing. The next is keyboard mapping which is a, an advanced feature and the last one is the exiting the app. It's a good practice to close and exit the app whenever it is not in use or when a viewing session is done. On the left side, keyboard screen opens up, you have a numeric pad, just at the bottom right you have the keyboard which opens a full-fledged alphanumeric keyboard of the device which you can use for search function and pin entry etc. And the numeric keypad itself is redundant here. Bottom side opens up Mac remote control keys and our interest is here red, green, yellow, blue and uh, rewind, play, fast forward, stop buttons which are major ones. The color buttons are used for navigation. Refer to my videos on STB emulator navigation for details on them. You can set uh, favorites or sort channels or search for movies in the database. These are the main functions for the color buttons. Rewind, play, pause, fast forward and stop buttons come in handy with the devices like Google TV Chromecast where the remote control does not have the keys for playback controls. Right side will open up the menu options. On top, we can select the portal for a quick reloading of the portal. And the next one is the media player selection. And at the bottom, we have the aspect ratio selection. A quick recap with the video. Yeah, you can see at the bottom, red, green, yellow, blue buttons for navigation and rewind, play, pause, pause forward and stop button for movie playback. And on the right side on top, profile for quick reload, then media player selection under the bottom, aspect ratio. And on the top, left side is main settings. Next to that is uh, portal settings for a quick edit of portals. Then the last thing is the exit, they are closing the app. This is very important, you can close the app by using this button. In Fire Stick, menu button also closes the app. This update makes it a great app for stalker portals. It is the lowest in cost, very stable and feature rich. Do leave your comments and feedback. Thank you.